Hey everyone, so Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta, just made a crazy announcement about AI. One we were not expecting that has left everyone a little bit in shock. Meta, as we all know, is focused on metaverse and not AI. Why the sudden shift? Today we will dive into this announcement and I will make sure I try to reveal everything you need to know. According to Mark Zuckerberg's statement, he's combining the research efforts of Meta to help achieve his big goal of building artificial general intelligence. But Zuckerberg's plan doesn't stop there. He wants to make this powerful AGI accessible to lots of people through open sourcing. Interestingly, as you might already know, Meta isn't alone in aiming for AGI. Even Demis Hassabis, the person leading Google AI's efforts, has the same goal. It seems like there's a shared vision across different tech leaders to push the boundaries of AI and make it more versatile and capable. I think this could lead to exciting developments in how we interact with technology in the future. Mark Zuckerberg is making some big moves at Meta. He's shifting Meta's AI research group, known as FAIR, to be closer to the team that's creating something called generative AI products across Meta's apps. Now, why is Zuckerberg doing this? The goal is to make sure that Meta's AI breakthroughs, the innovative things they discover in AI research, can directly benefit the billions of people who use Meta's apps. Bringing these teams closer creates a fast lane for the smart ideas from AI research to quickly reach all the users of Meta's platforms. Zuckerberg has shared a bold vision for Meta's future. He mentioned that to create the products they envision, they need to focus on general intelligence. According to him, the next wave of services they want to create require this full general artificial intelligence. I think they aim to build the best artificial intelligence assistance, not just for regular users, but specifically tailored for creators and businesses. Currently, Meta is going big on its plans. They're creating a huge amount of technology infrastructure, and it's even larger than what any other individual company has done. To make this happen, Meta is getting its hands on over 340,000 of NVIDIA's H100 GPUs. Now, everyone in the tech world prefers these smart chips when building generative AI. That's the kind of smart technology that can create new things on its own. In 2023, Meta had a shipment of 150,000 of NVIDIA's H100 GPUs. This is a big number, tying with Microsoft's shipments and being at least three times larger than any other company's shipments. When you also consider other powerful AI chips like NVIDIA's A100s, Meta is projected to have a stockpile of nearly 600,000 GPUs by the end of 2024, as mentioned by Mark Zuckerberg. I'm sure this massive stockpile of GPUs is a clear indicator of Meta's commitment to having cutting-edge technology for their ambitious AI goals. These chips will play a crucial role in powering up Meta's AI capabilities and bringing innovative ideas to life on a large scale. According to Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's shift toward AGI was influenced by the release of Llama 2, their latest large language model, last year. Even though Llama 2 could generate code, Meta didn't see it as a practical fit for how people would use it in their apps. However, recognizing the importance of developing the skill to generate code for building smarter AI, Meta decided to build it into Llama 2 anyway. I think it's safe to say that Meta wants to advance AI capabilities, even if certain features might not be immediately applied to their existing apps. The thought people had was that coding might not be that crucial, but as it turns out, coding is quite important for large language models. Coding helps these models grasp the structure and organization of knowledge, making them better at understanding logic and having a more intuitive sense of how things fit together. So the hypothesis was proven wrong. Coding plays a big role in enhancing the capabilities of these language models. Now, Meta is currently working on training Llama 3, their latest language model. One exciting feature they're adding is the ability to generate code. This means Llama 3 will be able to understand and create computer code, making it even more powerful. Similar to Google's Gemini model, Meta is also focusing on improving advanced reasoning and planning abilities in Llama 3. Llama 2, the previous model, wasn't considered the best in the industry, but it was the best among open source models. However, with Llama 3 and future versions, Meta has set a big goal. They want these models to be at the cutting edge, meaning they aim to build language models that are not just good, but among the very best in the industry. Zuckerberg has his reasons for pushing forward with his open AI vision for AI. 
Despite the open approach, it still leads to a concentration of power, just in a different form. Meta, with its already massive user base and highly profitable social media business, stands as one of the most influential companies globally. Incorporating AI features could potentially make Meta's platforms even more attractive and useful to users. And if Meta opens up its AI models for others to use, it could effectively set a standard for AI development, further solidifying its influence over the entire ecosystem. The strategy aligns with Meta's goal of shaping the future landscape of AI, with considerations for the concentration of influence that accompanies such endeavors. Mark Zuckerberg's recent shift toward AI can be seen as a change in direction for Meta, almost like a pivot. Just two years ago, he renamed the company to emphasize the importance of the metaverse. While Meta's latest smart glasses with Ray-Ban are gaining some traction, the development of fully immersive AI glasses seem to be taking more time. On the other hand, Apple has validated Zuckerberg's belief in headsets with the release of the Vision Pro, even though VR is still considered a niche industry. Zuckerberg, however, doesn't see his focus on AI as a pivot. He said that Meta is still actively working on reality labs and Metaverse, investing more than $15 billion annually in these initiatives. Well, what do you guys make of that? Mark Zuckerberg envisions a future where AI creates virtual worlds populated by AI characters that interact with real people. He's working on a new platform set to launch this year, allowing anyone to create their own AI characters and share them across Meta's social apps. In this vision, these AI characters might even have the ability to post their content on the feeds of Facebook, Instagram, and threads. It's a step towards a more interactive and dynamical digital world where AI becomes the integral part of our online experiences. Even though Meta is now delving into building artificial general intelligence, it's still a metaverse company. Mark Zuckerberg ties all of these efforts together under the broad mission of building the future of connection. Traditionally, this connection has revolved around humans interacting with each other on social media platforms. However, Zuckerberg makes it clear that moving forward, the concept of connection will increasingly involve humans interacting with AI as well. Conversing with artificial intelligence will become a regular and exciting part of our digital experiences. For Zuckerberg, this shift seems both inevitable and thrilling, even if the wider public may not be fully prepared for the changes ahead. Now, when it comes to artificial general intelligence, there's a bit of uncertainty among those working on AI, including Zuckerberg. They don't have a precise definition for AGI, and they're not sure when it will happen. They're still wondering whether it'll be intelligence at the level of humans, something more advanced, or superintelligence way down the road. But what matters, according to Zuckerberg, is the wide range of capabilities it would have. This includes things like reasoning and intuition not just performing specific tasks. Zuckerberg sees AGI arriving gradually, not in a single moment. It will unfold over time with different capabilities, developing gradually. So what are your guys' thoughts about AGI? Drop a meta in the comments to let us know you watched the whole video. And if you think this information was useful, like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss the next videos and to support us. Until next time, folks, you take care.